Hey, it's Andrew. I'm at the Sundance Resort in Utah and standing just outside of my cabin. Over the last few days, as I've been walking through the mountains, I've been thinking about a question that I ask members that I work with all of the time. And the question is, it's something along the lines of, you know, on a scale of one to 10, how committed are you to achieving your goals? And that's been relevant for me because I've been trying to create some new goals. And I've been thinking about why I do what I do, why I coach, why I work, why I'm trying to better myself, why I work helping other people. And I've had to ask myself several times, how committed am I? How all in am I to achieve the goals that I have? How big and scary are those goals? And I've had to look at the amount of effort that I've been putting in and the consistency and overcoming the daily monotony and making sure that I'm driving each and every day. See, if I say that I am at a 10 or that I am fully committed, that means that it doesn't matter what it takes. Whatever that mountain is, I'm going to get up it, over it, around it, or through it. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get on the other side of all of the fears that I've created, all of the walls that have held me back in the past. And if you've got a goal in your life that you're really wanting to achieve, if you're at the point where you need to change your life, then you need to evaluate how committed you are, how all in you are, to achieving that goal. Because if you say you're at a 10 and you really want to change, then nothing's going to get in your way. You're going to get there. I'm here and, and there's plenty of other resources that you can reach out to to help you achieve those goals. And on the other side of that mountain is, it's an amazing experience. I've overcome several already in my life and I've got many more to go and I'm excited for the ride. I hope you are too. Work hard, rise from the ashes, fly like the phoenix. Here's to your success.